What's up, guys? I hope you're all well. Today, we are checking out 2026 FIFA World Cup stadiums. North America is the host in four years, so let's check out these stadiums. On June 16th, 2022, FIFA announced the 16 host cities and venues for the 2026 World Cup. The tournament, which will be jointly hosted by the United States, Canada, and Mexico, will be the first ever hosted by three countries. Mm. And with a record 48 countries participating, 16 more than the current amount, it mm -hmm. will be the largest World Cup in history. Wow. To host the tournament's 80 games, the selected 16 venues consist of world-class stadiums in cities throughout the continent. Mexico will have three World Cup venues Ooh. located in Mexico City, Guadalajara, mm -hmm. and Monterrey, which will Makes host sense. 10 games together. In Mexico City is the Estadio Azteca, home to the Mexican national team, Club América, and Cruz Azul. Mm. The iconic concrete behemoth, which it's opened crazy, in 1966, that one has already hosted two World Cup finals in addition to numerous legendary games. With its two tiers of seats, the stadium has a capacity mm. of 87,500, making it the largest stadium in Mexico. In preparation for the World Cup, this temple of football will be revamped, including inside renovations and a new wow. shopping center just outside of it. Nice. 480 kilometers to the west of this, in Guadalajara, is the Estadio Acron, home to CD Guadalajara. Opened in 2010, the $250 million stadium has a capacity of 48,000 seats. Built into a man-made grass-covered hill, it small. is meant to resemble an For erupting volcano Cup. shrouded by clouds. 640 kilometers to the north of this, in Monterrey, lies Estadio BBVA, home to CF Monterrey. Opened in 2015, the two-tiered $200 million stadium has a capacity of 51,000. Nicknamed the Steel Giant, it has a stunning backdrop of the Cerro de la Silla Mountain, Ooh. which is located just one kilometer away. That's awesome. That's kind of pretty if you think about it. I kind of like that stadium. The United States will have 11 World Cup venues uh -huh. that will host 60 games together. Dang. Five of them are located along the East Coast. Yep. 30 kilometers south of Boston is Gillette Stadium, Boo. home to the New England Patriots. Boo. Opened in 2002 at a cost of $325 million, the three-tiered arena has a capacity of 66,000. Currently right. undergoing renovations, it will serve as a world-class sports venue by 2026. 270 kilometers southwest of this, just outside of New York City, is MetLife Stadium, home to the New York Giants mm -hmm. and Jets. The $2 billion stadium, which opened in 2010, was the most expensive in the world at the time. Dang. With four video boards and three tiers of cavernous kind of full ugly surround if you think seats, about it. the enormous stadium has a capacity of 82,000. Very ugly 140 stadium. 140 kilometers southwest of it, along the Delaware River in Philadelphia, is Lincoln Financial Field, home okay. to the Philadelphia Eagles. Opened in 2003, the three-tiered $750 million arena has a capacity of 70,000 and Damn. boasts excellent views of downtown Philadelphia. 1,070 kilometers southwest of this in Atlanta is the Mercedes-Benz Stadium, home to the Atlanta Falcons and Atlanta United FC. Opened in 2017, the $1.6 billion venue has a capacity of 71,000, which can be expanded to 80,000 for special events. It features a futuristic origami-like exterior, a halo-shaped video board, and a retractable roof that opens and closes like a camera lens. I really this like allows that for a climate-controlled really environment cool. inside that will come in handy to offset summer heat during the World Cup. Makes 950 sense. kilometers south of this in Miami is Hard Rock Stadium, home to the Miami Dolphins. Boo. Opened in 1987, the $670 million stadium with its rectangle roof and four steel spires has a capacity of 65,000. In the central right. US, three venues have been selected. In Kansas City is- I'm gonna stop that right there. Um, I live in Denver and we royally got screwed out of being a host city. Honestly, what would you rather see? Prairie and a big, you know, downtown area to look at as a, a backdrop? Or would you rather have mountains as your backdrop? Let me know down in the comments. Arrowhead Stadium, home to the Kansas City Chiefs. Opened in 1972 at a cost of $279 million, mm. the stadium has a capacity of 76,000. With its revered that may be the reason. and distinctive shape, it holds a record for the world's last. I think the Denver Stadium holds 
maybe 10,000 less than this one, but still, I mean, gross. Let's look at fountains. No, let's look at mountains and rivers and waterfalls. Come on now. Loudest crowd roar at 142 decibels. In preparation for the World Cup, the stadium will undergo $50 million worth of renovations to meet FIFA standards. 740 kilometers south of it, in Dallas-Fort Worth, is AT&T Stadium, home to the Dallas Cowboys. Opened in 2009, the four-tiered $1.6 billion That's stadium insane. has a capacity of 80,000, but can be expanded to 100,000 for special occasions. Okay. It features an enormous center display, and like the Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta, has a retractable roof and mm -hmm. climate-controlled environment. 380 kilometers south of it in Houston is NRG Stadium, home to the Houston Texans. They suck. Opened in 2002, the four-tiered $600 million arena has a capacity of 72,000 and features two large video displays mm. along with a retractable roof. Pretty stadium, but horrible Along the West Coast, the U.S. Team. has three more World Cup venues. In Los Angeles is SoFi Stadium, home to the Los Angeles Rams and Chargers. Opened in 2020 at a cost of over 5 billion US dollars, it is mm. the most expensive stadium in the world. Damn. With 75% of it sitting underground, it has four tiers of seats with a capacity of 70,000, which can be expanded kind to of a pretty stadium for special events. Okay, that makes Featuring sense. Featuring a 360 there too. degree infinity screen and an indoor outdoor design with a climate controlled environment, it is a top class sports arena. Yeah. 500 kilometers north of it in the San Francisco Bay Area is Levi Stadium, home to the San Francisco Never liked that stadium. Opened in 2014, the three-tiered $1.3 billion stadium has a capacity of 68,000. Okay. It features a 2,500 square meter green roof and two large video displays. Lastly, 1,100 kilometers north of it in downtown Seattle is Lumen Field. I've been home by to the there. Seattle That's Seahawks kind of a pretty stadium too. FC. Opened in 2002 at a cost of $430 million, the two-tiered split-roof venue has a capacity of 72,000 okay. and is the second loudest stadium in the U.S. It is now. Arrowhead. It used to be the loudest. Canada will have two World Cup venues in Toronto and Vancouver wow. that will host 10 games together. In Toronto, right off Lake Ontario's shore, is BMO Field home to the Toronto Argonauts and Toronto FC. Okay. Opened in 2007, the two-tiered $140 million stadium has a capacity of 30,000. <laughs> That's for the it? Cup, though, this Seriously? <laughs> will be expanded to 45,000. Okay, still 45,000. That's it. Away in Vancouver is BC Place, home to the BC Lions and Vancouver Whitecaps FC. Opened in 1983, Another small the stadium. $297 million stadium has a capacity of 54,000. Okay, it's not as small as I thought it would be. Retractable roof That's and cool. hung video board. Nice. For the 2026 World Cup, venues will be selected depending on the game. The Canadian and Mexican venues will mostly host group stage games and potentially some round of 16 ones. Okay. Meanwhile, the quarterfinals, semifinals, and final will be played in the U.S. Yep. However, since most of the U.S. venues are configured for American football, many of them will have to be renovated for the World Cup. And while the 16 cities listed are the only ones that will host games, other notable cities, including Washington, D.C., Montreal, Denver, Chicago, and Same. Orlando, will host supportive events such as fan fests. In Ooh, summary, the 2026 ah. FIFA World Cup will feature some top-class stadiums across Mexico, the U.S., and Canada, uniting the global football community together to watch the beautiful game on its largest stage. If you enjoyed this video, it would be amazing if you... All right. So, yeah, hopefully we host some, you know, North American regional uh, games to get into the World Cup here in Denver. If we do, I'll probably go to one of those. But potentially, I may make a little trip to Kansas City for a World Cup game. I think it would be a lot of fun. But... Yeah, we will see what happens in about four years. With that being said, I want to thank you all for watching. Stay safe and don't forget to wash your hands. Bye.